Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Ask GameSpot, the show where we slice and dice our way through your questions to get at the truth below. I'm Maxwell McGee. I'm disappointed in that pun, but I'm also Peter Brown. We asked you guys last week to send us some questions from Middle Gear Rising. We're going to answer them for you today. Maxwell? Our first question comes via Twitter from Alto K. Humbroso, who wants to know, is the game going to have multiplayer or something? Or something. Well, something. That's a fair question. Uh, I got to play about half of the story mode. No multiplayer was seen in the menu, so I can't really answer that just yet. Um, the past interviews, guys from Platinum and Kojima Productions have been kind of moot on the point, so I wouldn't expect it. Our next question comes from Calum Cottle. How is it an MGS game? Well, yeah, Peter, justify <laughs> this game. Uh, technically, it's <laughs> not an MGS game. It's a Metal Gear game, a new series, Rising. And this entry is called Revengeance. You got it? Write it all down, yeah. map it all out. <laughs> Could get a little confusing. Our next question comes from the AK-47 Bro, who wants to know, so it looks like an action game, but does it retain any classic stealth qualities from previous Metal Gear games? Yes, it does. Um, it's not in the same form as you'd find, you know, like Snake kind of sneaking around and hiding behind, you know, little corners and stuff while guards walk by. But there are alternate paths you can take in levels where you can get stealth kills. Um, there is no reward that's been mentioned for doing an undetected playthrough, but something could happen. <laughs> Who knows? The option's always there. <laughs> Uh, let's see, our next question comes from DMC A Tick. Game looks fun, but I'm concerned about not being able to follow the story. Will newbies be able to follow along and get the story? If you made that flowchart <laughs> I alluded to earlier, then yes, I think it'll be just fine. So technically this takes place after Metal Gear Solid 4 by about 9, 10 years. Um, there is some, like they do allude to the story in 4, specifically, you know, Sons of the Patriots a little bit, and some of that stuff from 2 as well, but Kind of, this is the, its own story. Focuses on Raiden, focuses on his life as a private military, I don't know, private protection agency? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like since this is sort of like a new sub-series within the Metal Gear universe, I imagine they want to keep it pretty open for people who are just yeah. jumping on. Like, maybe if you were turned off by the stealth elements in previous Metal Gear games, you'll be more attracted to the, the high-octane ninja action in this game. There you go. Our next question via Twitter comes from a DJ Platinum HD who wants to know, will there be cameos of classic Metal Gear Solid characters like the original Cyber Ninja, Gray Fox? You kind of nailed it. So it's not necessarily a cameo, though. What you get is a skin that's part of the pre-order bonus from ordering okay. it at GameStop. Okay. Um, Go figure. Yeah, there's been no mention of it, like an alternate storyline if you use that skin or what it does to change the gameplay, but I wouldn't be surprised if Kojima threw in a few little Easter eggs, you know, if you did complete a playthrough. With Cyborg Ninja. We'll have to see. Adnan Ahmed asks, a big part of what makes Metal Gear Solid games unique is their long cutscenes. How is the game handling this? The game is actually an entire movie. Yes. There is no game. No game at all. No, actually the cutscenes are much shorter than I think what you're used to from a typical Metal Gear game. There is lots of, you know, dialogue back and forth between Raiden and his foes, but it's not the same, like, you know, 45 minute long cutscenes that you're used to from, say, four. Charles Harden on Facebook wants to know, so Raiden gets a robot dog ally? Yeah, he does. Uh, and he actually has a nickname, K9000, which I think is alluding to a <laughs> okay, movie from the awesome. 80s. Yeah, but so he basically serves as a scout for Raiden in some instances. He'll like run throughout a level, figure out where enemies are, figure out where hidden exits might be. He's sort of your sidekick. Um, there's not that much interaction between the two of you. He kind of just provides info and you use it as you will. Now, right, or I called you Raiden. Your name's actually yeah. Peter. I saw you fighting a sort of robot dog enemy in the demo. He had like that chainsaw tail. Yeah. Is that the same dog that you're going to befriend later on? Same dog. He actually shows up to kill you, uh, sent by Sam Rodriguez, kind of your <laughs> rival that's established in the beginning of the game. Oh, Sam. <laughs> uh, but once you defeat the dog, he, you actually reprogram him and he becomes an ally of yours. Okay. Um, kind of bored, you know, there's always this relationship going on between the two of you, like, he's AI. You're sort of human, sort of cyborg, and he's trying to figure out who you are and how to work together. Our next question from Upmost Lion via Twitter wants to know, what are the DLC plans? There are some. There are an amount of plans. I think so far they've talked about DLC, uh, like optional weapons, uh, parts you can use to customize Raiden. Uh, in the game, you can change individual body parts. You can upgrade his sword, you can upgrade his armor. Uh, he's got like you can use a missile launcher, you can use a lance, all sorts of different things, and they're going to be adding to that. And you also DLC. mentioned the Gray Fox skin. Yes, well. but there's no telling if that's actually going to come later for people who don't pre-order. But I wouldn't okay. be surprised if it did. 
Josh Parrish wants to know, will Snake or any other character cameo in it? I'd like some sort of appearance from Sonny. I think we all would. And the fact is, at TGS this year, there is a, uh, <laughs> a listing of a voice actor for the Sonny character. So there will be some appearance, but having not completed the game, I can't really tell you how or when. Gurner Johnson on Facebook wants to know, why decide to take on the challenge of making an MGS game with Raiden as the main character, and how will it differ from past games? Peter, since I know you worked on this game extensively, yes. I thought you'd be a very good candidate to field this question. I fought tooth and nail to get Raiden in this game. Uh, despite Kojima not being a huge fan of Raiden as a character, fans responded really well to him in Metal Gear Solid 4. They liked the fact that he was more of a badass, if you will, for lack of a better word. So Kojima wanted to you know, invigorate the series with something new and potentially bridge the gap between Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4, but after his staff couldn't handle the weight of creating that project, they passed it over to Platinum Games. They moved the story beyond 4, taking about 10, place, 10 years afterwards, and uh, they're basically focusing on the game as an action title set in a Metal Gear universe. Uh, Raiden fits that mold pretty well. I think a shooter wouldn't be the best fit, but Raiden is quick, uh, he can and cut pretty much anything in about a dozen pieces. Kind of fits right into Platinum's portfolio. And he's a robot ninja! All right, John Stamatelis wants to know, can you really cut everything? Everything, Peter? I mean, come <sighs> on. Can you cut feelings? Or time? <laughs> uh, no, you're kind of limited to cutting enemies, certain environmental objects, but you know, if you walk underneath an underpass, you can't just like cut the underpass into a bunch of pieces. It pretty much comes down to objects in the environment that you'd expect to interact with. Matthew Burnham wants to know, will it be possible to do an undetected playthrough? Potentially, yes. I mean, you can sneak around and you know, utilize line of sight to take out enemies without them seeing you. Uh, there's even mention of being able to use a wooden sword to take out people without actually killing them. But again, we have no idea if this is going to unlock any new game modes or if it's going to add anything beyond just variety of gameplay. Our final question comes from XX Naruto fan 12185XX, the Lolly Lule Lo. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any other questions about Metal Gear Rising, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you.